the one thing is for sure that the Aussie bowlers are going to absolutely steam in and leave nothing in the tank. Maybe a bit nervous. It's not going to get any harder than this to bat in Test match cricket. The new pink ball under lights against a, a top class attack. India have had a dominant day. Can Australia fight back? Stark to Shaw. Oh, Works it's it away. away. And he's off the pair. Jeez, that's a good feeling to get off a pair. Australia, he gets the vital breakthrough. Again, Shaw is knocked over, clean bowled. And it was the full length again, How he Look at the late movement to come forward. And once again, I reckon he got a little inside edge onto a back onto the stumps, but it was the length again from Cummins, the full length cross seam. And just dragging the bats and four, that's the one they wanted, the big one, Pat Cummins. Strikes again when Australia need him. But for sure, he's gone on his way for four. Easy catch. Pat Cummins able to remove the night watchman early. Shook up by the short ball and then a gentle chip back. Yeah, well done, Pat Cummins. That was really important that the, the bowlers didn't bowl some spells while uh, Boomer was out there. It looked like a bit of a slower ball, just rolled his fingers across it. Just took a fraction of pace off, but it was too good. The old three card trick, short one, slower ball. Boomer did his job. He got through last night, didn't expose. Pajara, he's gone for two, and India a two for 15. Oh. Etched, gone. Shateshwar Pajara, out for naught, and Pat Cummins strikes. And there might be a few people at the bar raising a toast right now, Skull, because that was a peach again from Pat Cummins. That was an excellent delivery. And the dangerous Pajara, who can bat long time, look at that, the fuller length again. And had to play what like you were talking about. He should make the batsman play, and that's what Pat Cummins did. And once again, he was the man. And the Pajara is gone for naught. India now three for 15. Join the party, he has, Ish. First ball, thank you very much. That's like turning up and getting a drink passed to your hand straight away, not even asking. First up, what a rock that is. Made him play again. This is excellent stuff from the Australian bowlers. Good carry. This is, we have got a game on right here, and the Australians are starting to flex their muscles. They're dominating. Edge, the goal's gone. Two in the over for Josh Hazelwood. <laughs> Wow, India 5 for 15 and what a start from the Australians and what a start from Josh Hazelwood. Five balls he's bowled in this innings, he's got two for none. And the Agarwal and the vice captain of India, Ajinka Rahane, safe hands of Tim Payne and Australia all over India here. Another jaffer from Hazelwood, this was extreme bowling, this is elite. Play, but it looked like Cameron Green had to wrestle it a little bit. Virat Kohli's not sure. Yeah, the soft signal was out, so I've got, I need evidence to say that it's hit the ground for me to overturn anything. It's gone up into his arms and his chest. It looks like it's in his hand there. I've got nothing to say that he hasn't caught that cleanly at the moment. Yep, cool. Got a bit fuzzy, but... Yep, he's got it there, got it there, got it in his hand there. Yeah, I'm... I've got no evidence to say the ball's on the ground at any stage. His hand underneath it at all. Uh, everything. Wow. Coley departs. 
the Oval and shortly Australia as he heads off to spend time with his wife. The back of Virat Kohli. Gone, mid-wicket. Marnus Labashain, the safe hands, the ever-reliable Hazelwood. India lose their seventh. Oh, about time now the wicket fell. Oh, oh annoyance, they like it. Go and check upstairs. Oh, we've got a clear spike on RTS there. Yep. Clear spike as it goes past the bat. There's no gap between the bat and the ball. So we'll go back to Paul on the field. Confirmation, Josh Hazelwood. He's on a hat trick, but he now has 200 test wickets, the 18th Australian to do so. Cricket. Christmas has come early for the Australians. Hasn't it ever that full length? We just showed you why has the edge has been carrying instead of playing and missing the full length and dragging the batsman. Into it. And that's what Hazelwood today. He's got figures of five for three. It'll probably be six for three in a minute. Just the perfect line and length. Fahari just feeling for it. Nice catch, nice comfortable height for pain. And he owns that sort of line and length. Yeah. Josh Hazelwood. Give him a little bit to work with, and this is what he can do. Bahari hung around for a little while. He got eight, which is not a bad score amongst 31, but it's not enough. <laughs> Nine for 31. Played well for his eight. Josh Hazelwood, 4.1 overs, three maidens, five for three. Oh, that's nasty. Is that glove? Yeah, they don't need that in there. It's one of their key bowlers. Oh. He's in real discomfort here. Uh, Muhammad Shami, the trainer, has come out. I thought it might have got his glove for a moment. Oh, that's, that's painful. That's oh, keep everything crossed. He's okay, and it's not a broken. Well, looks like a retired hurt. Pat Cummins is going to miss out on the chance to get a fifer. I don't think he'll be bothered because, from an all-round team perspective. Australia could not have wished for anything more this morning or well, this afternoon here at the Adelaide Oval. Day three, India started the day at one for nine. And they will finish their innings. Nine for 36, well, all out 36. Well, it was one of those days for India where you just nick everything. You don't play and miss, you just nick everything. And Josh Hazelwood and Pat Cummins were absolutely outstanding. They'll lead the Australian team off with some warm applause from this great crowd that are here at the Adelaide Oval.